Welcome to One of Matthew Politics, my name's Matthew Morgan, so today we can talk about this new Indiegogo campaign that says, help free radicals make science better with more social justice. Yeah, social justice plus science, what possibly can go wrong? Anyway, let's get into the video and see how much of a train wreck this really is. Most of the time, we're taught that science is separate from politics. The first problem I have noticed with the video is the audio has this really high pitched whine in it. So I've gone into Adobe Audition, opened up the video file inside of it, selected the noise reduction tool and removed that high pit squirrel out of the video so it doesn't try to give you a headache because for some reason in this so called professional production they couldn't even be bothered to fix the bloody audio that would have literally took 30 bloody seconds. Most of the time we're taught that science is separate from politics. But is this really true? No, but why not? Because science is done by people, and people bring with them their biases, and these biases come from, well, everywhere. Today, most of the voices represented in science are still white, male, straight, and able-bodied. How does having loads of straight white males in science make any difference whatsoever to their research? In science, if you have a biased paper, People will notice that your research was biased or your outcome was biased when they start to read your paper and then they will call it out which means the paper will likely get retracted by whoever publishes it and your reputation will be ruined which completely makes your point of diversity in science completely mute from the get go. And because of this, we get the same perspectives and experiences represented over and over again. And that results in a science that often doesn't serve those outside of those groups. A science that is not objective, not equal, and not just. How objective a piece of scientific research is, is based on the quality of the group they were researching or the item they were researching, not based on what that person is. And it does not matter if the scientific research was just or equal. What matters is how accurate the results is. None of the social justice bullshit makes any sense in this regard. Free Radicals wants to bring people like you into the conversation about this intersection of science and social justice so that we can work together to create a science that strives for positive social change. The point of science is to do research and then pass your results on from that research. Social justice has no place in science whatsoever because social justice is a political ideology and ideologies are completely unwanted in science because they will skew any results you want to come to. The point of science is to be as accurate as possible and not protect anyone's feelings whatsoever. Accuracy over feels. So what is Free Radicals? Free Radicals is a grassroots organization founded in April of 2015 that develops political education resources that combine science and social justice. As I said before, social justice, as with any other kind of political ideology, should never be involved in science. Science is there to research topics and then write reports based on those topics in the most accurate way possible. It's very important that science is accurate Otherwise, people will start sprouting really, really false information. So, keep the social justice out of it and allow the scientists to get on with their jobs without you interfering with them. Our members have backgrounds in a wide range of both science and organizing. Our blog features articles, comics, videos, and podcasts that unpack topics ranging from medicine and environmental justice to military funding and bird watching. Your members simply won't make good scientists because they are too biased to make good research. It means their research is going to end up with that bias. You don't want biased people in science. You want people as politically neutral as possible, making your entire organisation completely useless. Actually, in fact, your organisation is going to be worse than useless because it's trying to actively spoil science and cause tons of issues with biased research. So please stop. Just please stop. But our content doesn't just live on the screen. We also work in our local community, hosting events and workshops in the greater Los Angeles area and connecting progressive scientists everywhere. Now, more than ever, the world is recognizing the impact of politics on science. But Free Radicals wants people to also realize the potential role for science and scientists in political change. You really don't seem to understand the uh, risks of uh, putting more politics into science, do you? The risks of 
Sauron being really biased and then lying on their research, which will end up happening if you encourage people to be political with their science. Uh, the reason why you're saying it right now is, is because you're hoping that people on your side are going to be biased, but it works both ways. People on all sides will end up being biased is, if it's seen as being acceptable to be biased with your research. So we should never go to a stage of wanting bias in science because it will never end well. It will just end up with no one trusting science and people will just trust whatever bullshit a website tells them over a scientist if scientists are going to start becoming political. Our all-volunteer run organization aims to resist the anti-science stances of the Trump administration while also holding scientists accountable to all our communities. But in order to continue to grow this movement, we need your help. Your support will allow us to organize workshops that engage new people in science and social justice, pay our content creators who research and produce pieces that share important perspectives and ideas, produce and print educational materials, cover outreach costs, purchase much needed equipment, and so much more. Together, we can protect science and make sure that it works for the people. If you want to protect science, I suggest not donating a penny to these people as this will help them hopefully go bankrupt and not be able to spread the anti-science bullshit because it is anti-science. They claim Trump's anti-science when, when they are trying to pass anti-science things such as social justice right through science by going, well, they should be accountable to all these minority groups. Scientists should never be accountable to any groups. They should just be accountable to the research they do. They shouldn't have to walk on eggshells when doing their research. As I say, I like facts tons. I don't like misinformation on anyone's part because it makes the world worse. Your group will never help at all. It will just make things much worse. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. It's my first one in about six months because I've decided to take a break from this YouTube thing. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. Please leave me a like, subscribe, favourite and comment. Bye.